Well, the Air Pirates were, uh, it was uh, some sort of bizarre concept with, to steal the air, pirate the air, steal the media. It was time, at that time, we, you know, we were here, how, it was impossible for one person to stem the conservative tide. So five of us thought we would, you know, we, and that's what it takes, you know, more than one person, but not too many more. It was, um, you can see all the ugly creeping in at, uh, by Nixon's second, by 68, you know, him elected by 70, it was bad. So the thing was, let's attack a corporation. You know, everybody should attack a corporation that, of uh, their own, you see. And so, uh, since we were cartoonists, the net logical thing was Disney. Uh, this is where the trouble started here. This is really Mickey Mouse. Uh, and that's, that, and we signed our names. The plot was that this was a very dissolute Hollywood star type mouse, and he and Minnie had had an affair which produced two nephews, so-called nephews. And uh, so they were kidnapped by their nephews, and by all their old hired, the nephews had hired the old villains to kidnap mom and dad and get them to the island and get them loaded and get them and give them a Calvinistic guilt reaction and make them marry each other so the kids would not be nephews anymore, so they'd be the legitimate son and daughter of Mickey Mouse, Mr. and Mrs. Mickey Mouse. So I think what it was is when they're in the, they started having sex in the jail hold. I mean, you know, the whole, and there they were in the jail cell, and that kind of really got them going. You couldn't criticize anybody, because if you drew a mouse and it didn't look like what, you know, uh, the so-called parody version, parody had been weakened to the point where it, it loses its shock. If, if, it, if I want to draw a Ronald Reagan and I'm forced to draw somebody that looks like something else, well, then it's not him. So nobody gets the joke. Who's that guy that almost looks like somebody I know and what's he saying? The joke just goes to pieces. Parody means, to me, that you get the exact image and you turn it inside out, 100%, 180 degrees, you turn it inside out, wow. That's what I did. Because anybody with half a brain knows that Mickey Mouse wouldn't do this until, of course, we went farther than we were supposed to, and this is the real Mickey Mouse, because they said so right away in court. They busted us and said, and charged me a million two hundred dollars. That's a real Mickey Mouse. I said it was a parody. They said, no, it's real. I said, no, it's a parody. They said, no, it's real. Okay, bust me. So they did. Bang, a million two. So uh, 10, 13 years, we're sitting in their court. We get, it just takes these the old, the old guys a long time. Don't ever put your fortunes in the hands of the law. Jeez. They, uh, they take forever. I actually have tape recordings of the Seventh Cir the Ninth Circuit Appeals sound asleep during my trial, the head of the whole thing, you know. You set a precedent. Well, we, had, we fought back. That maybe was the precedent. Uh, because we started off with a hopeless condition and, and see what we can do with that. I mean, as long as it was hopeless, why not? If you're going down in flames, hit something big. 